Thank you so much for tuning in. What I have for you is something a little bit different today, but it still has to do with uh, performance. It still has to do with productivity, things like that. But what I want to share with you today on this video is my five tips for cleaning or for having and keeping a clean home. Your home should be a place where you can unwind and relax. And have you ever tried doing that with a sink full of dishes and things piling up? Yeah, it's tough to unwind. It's tough to really enjoy yourself in your home. So what I kind of want to touch on is just different things that you can do to avoid that. Because as we all know, especially now, keeping a happy and healthy home is key. And I think that these can really help you. Number one, follow the leave the room rule. This hands down is one of the best tidying up tips ever. So it's super easy and super simple. Every time that you leave a room, grab something, take it with you, take it to the next room and kind of put it away. If you do this every, you do this every, a little bit every day or a couple times a day, it can really cut down on the clutter. So if you're on your way to the office, grab something from the kitchen and take it back into the office. If you're leaving the living room and going to the kitchen, something around there, grab it up, pick it, pick it up, take it in there. So, something is such as easy as grabbing the mail and even taking it into probably your office where you're opening the mail. So something so easy that you can do multiple times a day that really cuts down on the clutter. You know how it is. You use a glass or a dish, you put it in the sink. You grab one more, you put it in the sink. This happens throughout the day. They just keep piling up and then pretty soon you need some nourishment. It's time for lunch, maybe time for dinner. You go in there, you have a full sink. Not only do you have to deal with it then, but you're probably thinking about it throughout the day. So what I always like to do is, after you get a couple dishes, just take a minute or two. Feel free to get those cleaned up. That way you can clean up all your thoughts and everything that you have up there and let you get back to the productive day that you want to have. These days, it's no secret. There's tons of cleaning products out there. So what I always try to tell people to, to do is use the clean products that do the cleaning. So if you can find something organic, if you can find something that's easy on your skin, light on your allergies, something that doesn't bother you to use, it's gonna make it that much more enjoyable to use those. So I always tell people to find and hunt and you might have to pay just a little bit more, but if it's gonna help you get the job done and help you do it a little bit better on your own time, I would suggest spending in a couple extra dollars just to make it all seem that much better, not only for you, but for your body and for the other people that might be using those products. Number four, the shoe rule. Now I personally think everyone has their own preference on this. I know some people prefer to wear their shoes in the house, some people don't. I personally don't. Um, where I live, climate isn't so conducive sometimes it's colder a lot of the times I'll wear slippers in the house things like that but it's not something that I wear outside and bring inside but the main goal and with this is to try to eliminate the germs and the things that come into your house so if you're wearing your shoes um, outside and bringing them back inside that could possibly bring in quite a few of those germs so maybe you have an outside pair of shoes and an inside pair of shoes if you really need to wear shoes in the house but either way if you're wearing your shoes in or out you need to have a place for them so Usually right next to the door is usually where you find people's shoes. I think that is great. Uh, if you're coming in the house, you're kicking off your shoes, leave them there. Hopefully that'll leave some of the germs at the door as well. So that is what I call the shoe rule. Number five, just do it. If you need to clean up, turn on a podcast, turn on some music, turn on an audiobook. Take that, use it as a power hour, put something on that you really enjoy. Take that extra hour, do something, and within an hour you should be able to get things picked up in a hurry. If it takes you an hour today and an hour tomorrow, that's better than sitting down for three hours on Sunday and doing it. So that is my rule, is just try to take an hour here and there and just do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Anthony Hendrickson, and these are my five tips to keeping a clean and happy and healthy home. So I hope that you get some type of value from them. I hope you can use some of these tips if you're not already using them. Uh, if you have any other tips that you'd like to do or things that you think that I could implement or anyone else seeing this video could implement, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you're doing to keep your home not only healthy, happy, but safe. So once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.
Thank you for watching or listening. I hope this content has helped you in some way. Maybe it motivated you, maybe it inspired you, maybe it actually triggered something uh, in your head to make you get out of that rut or get out of your own way. Maybe it simply entertained you. I'm just an ex-service industry guy who, once I decided I didn't wanna live in that fast-paced life anymore, uh, decided to go my own way, I felt like I was out on an island. Everyone who I'd known for years uh, suddenly wasn't around and it was a whole new feeling. After spending tons of my savings, going into deeper debt, I realized that it was really time for a change and there's something I need to do about it. After being at a mental rock bottom, I decided that I had to pull myself up, do something different, and that's how I got into the world of marketing. Now, I've been almost two years removed from the corporate life and I've never looked back. If you wanna follow me on my journey or connect later on or in the future, or even if you just wanna follow me, you can either find me at my blog at anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Once again, that is anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Or if you're watching this video, you can click, click on the link below. Once again, I'm Anthony Hendrickson, and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, bye-bye.